Yo, what is poppin' everyone? We are here for episode 4 of Team Building with Envy on the Pokemon Online Team Builder, of course, because uh, it looks really nice. I really like the layout a lot. But anyways, today I have a really cool team uh, to present to you all. I'll show you guys the building process of this team. This series is basically, well, for those of you that don't know what it's about, I basically, you know, take a really good team that I've made in the past or, you know, immediately. And for this team, I actually made it just now, and I've been playing around with it for about an hour, and it's been doing... It's been doing really good. Uh, I've already recorded the live for it. I decided to, like, right after I did the live, I, com I decided to, um, you know, use the team for the team building series because it's such a solid team. It's such a good team overall. And I've been having a lot of success with it. I'll, I'm I'm honestly going to say it's one of... Uh, <laughs> It's one of the better teams that I've made this past uh, this past 24 hours, and it's been really it's been working out so well uh, for for me. And so what I'm going to do now is actually go over how I built this team. And uh, for those of you that are new, you know I'll have the team for you all to try out in the description. And you know you can go ahead and try it out. Give me your thoughts and impressions on it, and in the comments of course. And then in about 24 to 27 hours after this video goes up, I will upload the the live that goes with this uh, this team. So you guys will see exactly how I use it and, you know, hopefully, you know, get some inspiration to either build or, you know, try the team out yourself. So anyways, our first Pokemon that I built this team around is uh, Noivern. Now, the reason I chose Noivern because, firstly, it is one of the, uh, it's, it's actually a very underrated Pokemon, especially in OU. I believe it is uh, UU, but I don't even think you see it too often in UU either. So it's a very cool Pokemon. And Noivern, it has a lot of speed. Special attack is decent. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly good, which is why I am running a Choice Specs Noivern in order to boost that special attack. And defenses, defense-wise, I mean, it's not entirely bad at all. It's a decent Pokemon. Noivern is decent. It's um, definitely not the best. It's outclassed by stuff like Dragonite and... I mean, yeah, Dragonite, but... But, like, it's still a good Pokemon uh, for the role that it has. It's really good. So let me... Let me just show you what I have here. So we have Noivern, max special attack, max speed, 4 HP. I mean, it doesn't matter what those four, you can put it in Spadef for defense. But there are some interesting traits about Noivern. Now, firstly, we got that nice Hurricane here. So Hurricane, Choice Specs. Choice Specs Hurricane is always a threat in this meta, alongside coverage to hit stuff uh, like Steel types uh, with Focus Blast. So like Heatran, for example. Draco Meteor, just a nice powerful stab move. Switcheroo, which is an interesting, very unique move on uh, Dragon Flying types. Uh, Switcheroo here will allow you to, you know, it pretty much functions the same as Trick, allowing you to cripple certain Pokemon that would otherwise wall Noivern. So you can do that, cripple a wall on a team, or you can uh, prevent a Pokemon from setting up using Switcheroo. So it's always fun to do that. But a really good thing about Noivern is that it has Infiltrator. So Pokemon that try to sub on you, like sub Pokemon, like recently, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see in the live, I actually hit through a substitute <laughs> with Infiltrator and Hurricane just blew it apart. So that's really cool for Pokemon that really rely on sub to sort of set up and sweep or to, you know, hide behind the sub and try to toxic stall you or something like that. So, you know, Choice Specs Noivern, a very interesting Pokemon. And I thought you all would, you know, really appreciate me bringing this to the OU tier and trying it out because it's very underrated. Uh, as I've said many times already right now, it's just it's it's really fun really cool Pokemon I love Noivern and uh, Anyways, that's our first Pokemon here So choice specs Noivern the way I wanted to go about building around uh, building this team was to make it I didn't want to go like pure offensive because Noivern is one of those kinds of Pokemon that Kind of needs some some sort of support to really work as well as other Pokemon in the tier so what I did was I basically so I chose Noivern I was like, okay, so I want to approach I want to take this approach in sort of a more balanced if not semi stall sort of style so I went ahead and added an offensive mega slow bro it's bulky which is good it provides nice team support alongside Noivern in the sense that it does resist the nice uh, it, it resists ice type you know stone edge is not going to do much to it anyways because it's very defensive and what other weaknesses does Noivern have? Uh, well, fairy types in general. I have other you know, Pokemon for fairy types. I I basically went around building this team just by covering type weaknesses and threats and stuff like that. So, you know, Mega Slowbro is a really good Pokemon. It's not the one that I usually run, which is like the Combine Iron Defense, which is a really fun set. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice set, but um, I wanted to run offensive, uh, an offensive Mega Slowbro for this one just because, you know, I wanted the team to hit harder. I didn't want to be too stall you know? So Mega Slowbro here is offensive with these EV spread. It's a pretty standard EV spread. I mean, Spadef here is to not get to it KO'd by like Specs Kelly or Hydro Pump or something like that. And defense is, you know, so that we can 
live earthquakes and stuff and you know just max hp it's not really max special attack but i mean with this it hits really hard it hits like a truck um after mega evolves and so we have here scald psychic ice beam slack off just some nice coverage moves in general i mean ice beam will hit dragon types and uh you know flying types grass types like superior for example i mean psychic also hits really hard as well like it hits rotom wash very hard like when you mega evolve i think it's a uh, two-way ko on rotom wash um scald of course main stab move every pretty much every slow bro should be running scald on a serious competitive team it's just one of those spammable moves uh, that you can do and uh, of course you know nice regenerator so that you can decide when you want to mega evolve and you know based on that you can switch out and regenerate back health and stuff so i added a mega slow bro to this team because it's really nice paired with noivern uh now what i actually did was um so okay so i needed a stealth rocker and I felt that Slowbro sort of paired well. I kind of have this in the wrong order. Let me just switch it around in terms of how I want to talk about this. But um, yeah, let's go. Let's go with this. Okay, so so what I did here was I added a Chansey because Chansey actually goes really well with Slowbro. Plus, Chansey is one of those kinds of Pokemon <laughs> that pretty much like any special attacker you're sort of weak to. It kind of just switches in on it, uh, switches in on it, and uh, deals with it in that sense. So. It's one of those kinds of Pokemon that you can put on a team. Like, you, you see sometimes five offense, one Chansey. Like, why do they have that? Like, five offense, Pokemon, one Chansey. Just so that they can sort of be lazy about what they want to... Like, if, like building a sort of team where they can check a lot of stuff. Whereas, you know, you can just put five threats on a team and slap on a Chansey and just deal with it that way. So, like, the way I did it was, you know, Chansey actually really functioned well in order to patch up any threats we had on the team. Just by, you know, what we have so far. And Chansey gets rid of a lot of weaknesses to the team. Pair goes well with Slowbro because, of course, you know, Chansey is weak to fighting. Slowbro is uh, resistant to fighting. He eats, eats up fighting attacks all day long. So that's why I added to Chansey. Also because of the fact that it does have Stealth Rocks. It just kills two birds. or It kills, like, many birds with one stone. <laughs> Not just two. But uh, we have your Stealth Rock Chansey with, uh, you know, Seismic Toss, Thunder Wave, Soft Boiled. Uh, Thunder Wave just to slow down threats for Slowbro to sort of hit hard, as well as Noivern just to maybe get a chance to confuse with Hurricane, maybe also get a Paralysis as well, so it's it's also really nice for the team. And I'm running max defense, of course, you know, it's a pretty standard Chansey set, some little bit of speed here to outspeed certain stuff, I guess, uh, other Chanseys, even though we really don't need to, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty standard, uh, standard move set, self-explanatory, I mean, I don't really need to go into detail about that. Uh, if you have any questions though, like about the team or anything in general, just let me know in the comments below. I've been testing this team out, so I really know how it works, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know for a fact that common threats, like, I'm, I'm pretty good against, so we'll see what happens though. Um, and next up here we have an Excadrill, so I have I have a Stealth Rocker, uh, a Mega Slowbro, which is what I wanted to add it alongside uh, Specs Noivern. I kind of needed a Spinner, because Noivern, of course, is weak to Stealth Rocks, and it's annoying for Noivern to just keep switching in when rocks are up. So I needed a, either a spinner or a defogger. And I wanted to go more of a spinner approach because defogging sort of, I mean, it's sort of just, it's not like, it's not too offensive wise. Like I, I could have run a Lottie with defog or a Mew with defog, but I just wanted something more like with an offensive presence. And a lot of these spinners are more like offensive sort of. So I wanted to add an X control here. It also has some pretty decent synergy with the team by taking electric attacks from uh, Slowbro. Also being able to check stuff like Mega Manectric. Um, well, Chansey already checks that anyways, but it also checks Zardex to an extent, so that's always nice. Um, I mean, it's just one of those Pokemon that are really good on the team. Checks Fairy types too. Noivern hates Fairy types. Um, even though, like, <laughs> Specs Hurricane can probably do a KO uh, Clefable, like, it still, it still hates Fairy types. So I have Drill for that, and uh, it's just a really... Really nice spinner overall with a choice scarf, being able to outspeed and check many different threats in the game. And of course, you know, you'll be seeing like all of the, uh, I guess not all, but like a lot of the major sort of Pokemon that these these mons deal with in that little white box that you probably already see right now, having like popping up little uh, little notes, I guess. Hopefully, it'll be helpful for uh, for you guys. But uh, yeah, we have Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide, Rapid Spin, pretty standard for Scarf Drill. I mean, coverage wise, it's really nice. Also helps me check. Well, it, uh, Rock Slide is pretty nice to check uh, Thunderous, Zardwai, and stuff. So, really good Pokemon. Mold Breaker lets me hit through uh, Levitate so I can kill Rotom Wash with Earthquake. And, yeah, that's all there is to it, to be honest. I'll make it female. <laughs> I don't know. I like uh, I like female Excadrill. 
Uh, anyways, so basically we got uh, we got Noivern, Slowbro, Chansey, and Drill. And now basically, to be honest, I don't even know what went through my mind by adding these two Pokemon. Oh yeah, I, I know. So basically, uh, yeah, let's go Heatran. I added the Heatran here because I wanted a way to deal with Talonflame. And Slowbro, you know, SD Talonflame or Bandit Talonflame is kind of a threat, especially to a non-Mega Slowbro. Oh, not, not, not non-Mega, what am I saying? Non-defensive Mega Slowbro. <laughs> My bad. Non-defensive Mega Slowbro, because this is an offensive Mega Slowbro. And, I don't know, it just makes Talonflame all the more riskier to fir uh, to face. Even though we have Scarf Drill, like, we Drill's not really a switch into Talonflame. It's, uh, it's a check. Like, when we can bring it in after something else dies or something. But, uh, yeah, I, I have uh, Heatran to deal with that, as well as, um, as well as to deal sort of with Stall. Every time, okay, so, like, every time I face a Chansey, like, Heatran ends up beating it. Why? Because I am running, I'm running a uh, a stall breaker heat chance set, so I, I do have this to break stall. So we got that nice taunt toxic combination here, toxic to poison and taunt to prevent from healing. So this thing can beat Clefable, it can beat Chansey, it can beat, I mean it just beats stall in general, other than like Quagsire, but then at the same time we just poison it. So it's always fun when we face stall and we break this thing out. So Magma Storm to trap Pokemon from switching in order to successfully stall them out with Toxic and Taunt. And Earth Power, of course, is for coverage to hit stuff like, I guess, Heatrans and other Pokemon that would, uh, you know, like other Fire-type Pokemon in general. And it's just a nice move in order for you not to miss Magma Storm, so it's always nice, you know? And so anyways, so that, that's why I added a Heatran. It also helps me versus other Fairy-types in general. Um, I don't know, also Superior. Superior is a pretty big threat because Superior can actually, like, once it sets up enough Leaf Storms, it can... It can be kind of threatening, but I do have T-Wave, so that's always nice. But like Taunt Superiors or Sub Superiors, they're always a problem. So I do have Heatran for those as well. Um, also, Noivern is a good check to Superior because of the fact that it is faster. Look at the speed here. Look at this. Look at check the speed out here. Look at that. 379 speed. I mean, it's not the best. It's like it's like Greninja level sort of. I think uh, pretty decent. Like it's faster than Torn. It's faster than Superior. Faster than Lottie's, of course. Um, you know, it's, it's a fast Pokemon, but Choice Specs very powerful. So, um, anyways, next up we have uh, we have Chestnut, <laughs> very nice Pokemon. I wanted a Pokemon, so we do have. Okay, so I wanted to complete the Fire Water core we have going on with a Grass type Pokemon. Also, we were kind of weak to Bisharp. Uh, we were kind of weak to Belly Drum Azu, um, and Chestnut just deals with that so nicely by checking those Pokemon. And this is actually. One of my, this is, a, okay, not one of my, this is hands down my favorite chestnut set to use, alright? You probably have seen me use it before, if not, you will be seeing me use it for this live. It is my good old friend, Belly Drum Chestnut. <laughs> now, this may be kind of heat to some people, some people may have not, well, may not have tried it out before, may not really know about how good this Pokemon is. Belly Drum Chestnut is a god, alright? Belly Drum Chestnut here can sweep entire teams. After Salic Berry, you're faster than even Lottie. I have Overgrow instead of Bulletproof because once we sub in Belly Drum, we are in Overgrow range and the only way to Oko Lottie from full HP is to have the Overgrow boost with Seed Bomb after Belly Drum. So that's why, that is the main reason I have Overgrow here. Plus, not many people will expect it. Well, they kind of might after I sub in Belly Drum, but by then it'll be too late. So Chestnut here, max speed and, uh, gives us enough speed, of course, to outspeed you know, Lottie, uh, base whatever Lottie is and... It's a good check to Azu in order to, like, we can, we're faster than Azu, so we can beat it with Seed Bomb, and it's a nice check to Bisharp as well, so it's a good Pokemon. Jolly, Salak Berry, um, Salak, of course, will boost the speed once we, after, uh, after one sub plus a Belly Drum, we get the speed boost from Salak Berry, and we attempt to sweep, and this thing actually ends up destroying Stall, like, Amoongus gets two hit KO'd by Drain Punch at plus six. So what, if we like weaken Amoongus, we can actually pretty much just destroy an entire stall team. And Skarmory's only option is to Whirlwind, but if rocks are up, we just knock it out with Drain Punch at plus six. So it's so much fun to use. Really, like I really hope we face stall in the lab. Well, I'm not gonna spoil if we do or not, but uh, I, I'm not gonna spoil it. You'll, you'll see what happens in the live. The live is a, it's a sight to behold. Um, very powerful team. I really enjoy this team a lot, and I hope you guys get the same kind of enjoyment trying it out. And I did actually use this for um, for Hida Fihida on Joey's channel. 
It's a very fun team. I actually, I literally like made this. I literally made this the day we recorded Hita Fita for Joey's channel, which I don't know if it's going up. Uh, well, this video is going to probably go up. I don't know if I want to plan it on Sunday. I'm recording on Saturday, by the way. I've been kind of busy lately just because of uh, exams and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the reason. But I do have Thanksgiving break coming up, so I will be... I will be uh, uploading a little bit more, a little, little faster, so you guys, you guys will get some extra content out there. And um, yeah, this is just an overall, overall solid team, nice balanced team. So um, let, let me say, what other comments do I have for this team versus uh, versus hyper offense teams? I mean, we have Scarf Drill, which Scarf Drill just tears apart hyper offense teams pretty nicely. And I mean, Belly Drum Chestnut's always nice. Noivern can really easily. I mean, Noivern's fast, so hyper offensive teams can't really switch in on Noivern either. And slow bros, I mean powerful. It's offensive mega slow bro, so that's nice. Versus balance, I mean we do have Heatran that traps stuff we need to. Uh Belly Drum Chestnut can easily be balanced too. And uh Noivern's pretty nice versus that too. Versus stall. Uh also Chansey too. Chansey can be balanced pretty nicely, uh, depending on what Pokemon they have. Versus Stall, we do have uh, you know, Chestnut here to beat that. Heatran. And you know, any any playstyle in general we're able to beat. Let's think uh, weather weather conditions uh, like rain teams, for example. Like Chansey easily can take hits from Kingdra or Omastar. I don't know about Omastar, but Kingdra for sure. And Mega Swampert here. We, I mean, we have Chestnut to sort of check that, and Slowbro too. So we're not really too weak to anything, to be honest. It's a nice team, very nice team. I, I have been testing it out, so I'm, I'm, I wouldn't really give you a team for this series that I haven't tested myself and approved 100%. And you know, this team here. This team is uh, it's it's been really working out a lot. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and stick around for uh, stuck around for this uh, for this team building session. And if you did, you know the teams in the uh, in the description below. Anyways, that's the process of this team. If you have any questions, let me know in the uh, in the description. Also, you know, feel free to try the team and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the live coming out 24 to 27 hours from this video. Peace, guys.